Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here, and we're at the base of Mount Pang Li. Pang Lai. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with climbing this mountain. Uh, this is the base cave. Well, this doesn't look complicated, but uh, since they're calling this the base cave, I'm assuming there's going to be more to this. There are new enemies here, Dragon Riders. Uh, these do count as dragon-type enemies, as we're going to test out right here. Because we're going to... Blade of... Blaze of Glory? Yeah, I don't want to do that. Uh, we are going to do the Dragon Slash. Critical hit. Despite that, it, it is still... They are Dragon-type enemies. See? So Dragon Slash is the clear answer to them. So once again, I'm kind of glad to have Hendrik here, as we now have uh, two characters with Dragon Slash. Which, even though I know Jade has, you know, her backflip kick thing, and uh, she has the can opener that's going to be good against metallic monsters, so that would provide some variety in some of the different types of enemies that uh, we can use these specialized abilities for. Victory is ours. But I value Dragon Slash more over those, because the dragons in the Dragon Quest series tend to be some of the tougher enemies you'll encounter. Whereas the things that uh, Jade's abilities can be good against, not really too much of a problem. I mean, there might be a few instances, but I... I don't think it's going to compare to, like, the dragons that we'll be fighting. Now these guys... Oh, he blocked one. I he took a critical hit for it. Well, let's see if we can take down this other one in one go. Yes, we can with the Falcon Slash. So this is where I'm going to start uh, using Falcon Slash more in battle. And this thing, I was just... It's got tons of defense, which is the issue. Look at that, six damage that it took. Again, Jace wasn't taking much from this thing either. This thing's got to be close. It's just grinning maliciously now. Yeah, that'll finish it. Our triumph was never in doubt. Uh, so yeah, especially while I only have two characters here, I'm going to put more value on being able to kill enemies in one shot, even if it means I have to use an ability and a few MP to do so. This game has also been generous about giving us uh, restore points just before bosses. So it's... I I'm not worried about not having the MP. But it looks like uh, Hendrik is about to run out of his uh, his pep up power, so I go ahead and use the double dragon slash. Is ours. Not only saving the ability points, we get to use the cool technique and way overkill that thing. And so the other theme of this cave is we're going to have to get these dragon rider ride armors and use them to fly upwards. Did I just miss a spot to the left there that I could before flying up here? Because it looked like there was another cliff there. That'll make me upset. Uh, I might go and check that out after I finish uh, commentating this video. I'm check that out and see, and just uh, see if if there was a ledge there, and maybe I'll go back and explore that off-camera. Can we go up into the, where that waterfall's coming out? That'd be cool. Uh, but the game is going to halt our progress right there. So let's take a free shower there. Free showers are always nice. Yeah, I, I have different co 
code words for some of the uh, weather. I can't fly through there? Oh, fine, we'll go around. Just fly over all these enemies. Especially that one. Uh, so when it's raining outside, I always, I always say it's a free shower. And when it's snowing outside, I call it raining evil. Because that, that's what it is. Yeah, I've mentioned this before. I'm not a fan of snow. And, and I will take, you know, 70, 80 degrees and absolutely pouring rain over snow. I won't complain about that because it's, it's not snow. <laughs> that is my theory behind it, but I will complain about snow. All right, so we have another ride armor, the uh, Hork Knight thing, which we've had this type of ride armor before. Oh, what? I thought I could one-shot him. Well, Jace can, but that one was injured because of the preemptive strike. That's not okay. Jace is also pepped up right now. So he's basically doing the Falcon Slash ability. Speaking of which, um, I've been doing some thinking on the whole Falcon Slash thing, and I know I want my normal attacks to be stronger than the Falcon Slash or the Falcon Blade normal attacks, which I think that's fair before upgrading the weapon. However, another thing to consider, if I upgrade the weapon, yeah, maybe my normal attack might not do as much as the two hits from Falcon Blade, but the Falcon Slash ability will actually be stronger because my attack will be higher. It's not like using Falcon Slash with Falcon Blades gets you, you know, more attacks. No, you still only get two with the Falcon Slash. I'm not sure what the point of having that cliff there is that you can climb up. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. That's not the first time we're going to see this on this uh, mountain. I just find it weird. And, and uh, that blue dragon, that boreal whatever, is a new enemy. Definitely want to get the jump on him. I think he's just like descending upon me. Don't hit him. Boreal serpent. It looks a lot like uh, Shenron from the Dragon Ball series, although a lot smaller than Shenron ever appears. That worked well. Victory is ours. They give a decent amount of experience. Um, what am I doing here? I'm looking at... Oh, I'm noticing the attack... Yeah, notice the attack and uh, strength. Like, Hendrik has more strength, but Jace has more attack. And Jace is dealing about uh, 10 to 15% more damage than Hendrik is. And I just find that weird. And so now I'm debating on next time Hendrik levels up. I know I'll have enough skill points to get him that... Uh, that plus 40 defense. But like I also said, I'm also debating between like that strength plus 20. And I think strength plus 20 would put him on par with Jace instead of just slightly behind Jace. So I'm highly considering doing that as well. Can I... I want to fight the Boreal Serpents. They're weak to Dragon Slash. They give good experience. There we go. So I might do that, and then, like I said, there's that third skill, that um, Quadro Falcon Slash thingy. I definitely want to get that as well. It's just what order do I want to get them in. Which I still think I'm going to go for the defense plus 40 first. 
All is well that ends well. And then I'll probably do the strength plus 20 and then the uh, super ability after that. Of course, who knows how many levels all that stuff is going to take. Uh, but no, I'm still not planning on using any skill seeds on on uh, Hendrick at this point. And I'm not sure what the purpose of the ride on is through this section. But they keep uh, insisting that I have it, so... I don't know. Maybe it's just another one of those where it's just kind of a cool thing that they let you have in this area, but no real functional purpose or items or things you can... Oh, no, wait, there is a real functional purpose. Here's the real functional purpose. Ha! I knew it. I thought I saw a sparkle spot on that little rock, but no, it's it's right here. There we go. Enchanted stone. some days ago. Yeah, these people talk about some sort of uh, monk that went up to the mountaintop and hasn't come back, and they fear that monsters got him or whatever. That's probably something we're going to have to deal with. Staff of Anti-Magic. Not sure why we're getting one of those there. Pretty sure we already had one of those. Uh, but we'll come back down here, and this will be the main entrance of the village that we need to go to. Alright, so let's take a look here. Oh my gosh, I don't want to explore this thing. And the village. Well, that was my first initial impression, impression when I saw this place. However, uh, it turns out that big castle structure it's thing is the moment. only is the only thing to explore. Place like this so there's not like a village and then the big old temple. Certainly it's just the big old temple. Protection of some kind. Yggdrasil fell to earth not far from here. Yet the temple buildings escaped entirely unscathed. Well, so did this entire mountain, Find really. That, face. that man is a knight of Heliodor. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Heliodorian swine! You think that your blockade will break us? Think again. Um, the disciples of Angrilla are made of sterner stuff, as you will soon see. Blockade? Come again? What in the... Oh, These what are they doing? intended to confound us. Be on your guard. We may attack from any angle. We could just pull Enough. out our swords and you. chop their arms off. Is this how we treat visitors? As your High Lama, I order you to stand down. High Lama? Your Holiness, these people are not visitors. Really? They are soldiers of Heliodor. We cannot be sure of their intentions. Well, why didn't you ask so us of our intentions? Helium, the tall one, perhaps, but his young friend does not look like a military man to me. Okay, I'm going to call you Krillin. I sense a great power within you. Tell me, young man, are you the luminary? Yes. Incredible. You're not Veronica, you so I'm not going to say no. With a single glance. <laughs> okay, so you're Krillin, but you're, like, very intelligent and you wear glasses. Not that Krillin was necessarily dumb, but, uh... He wasn't as scholarly as, you know, this High Lama guy here. We have much to discuss. In other words, feel free Strange to explore child. the place, and then we'll but meet up and discuss business. Once so young, there is more to him than meets the eye. That much is certain. 
Well, we have come this far. We might as well make our way to this high hall of theirs. See what he has to say. No, really, Hendrik? I thought we were just going to turn around and leave. Uh. But fortunately, this place isn't super complicated to explore. Now I'm going to start like trying to do my left to right exploration. I realize this is going to be a really bad idea for this place. So I'm going to explore all of the bottom floor and then all the next floor and then all the next floor and then all the next floor and all the next floor. We don't even have that many floors. Uh, but I don't know that at this point. Or I should say past gameplay me doesn't know that at this point. So we're just going to explore one floor at a time. And then there's this other knight from Heliodor. Must be uh, Jasper causing this blockade thing. I see this treasure over here. Oh, interesting. I had an item shop. Let's check it out. I mean, it looks like there's some new equipment here, but nothing... I'm not using axes. Ice axe? That does not even look like an axe. It looks more like a wand. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna get any of this. Not really a reason to at this point. have the uh, church here where we can save because I don't really know what's going to happen next again I never really do because this is you know blind gameplay gameplay is blind commentary is not Unless I'm not looking at the screen while I'm commentating. There has been some instances of that. Hey, it's the uh, Puff Puff girl. Or say one of them, I don't know. This is actually not a Puff Puff girl. I guess we don't have one of those around here. Probably for the best. Alright, is there... There's a pot here. A mini metal. Always love finding mini metals. Hey, here's more stuff we can find. A book. Don't go hungry with an I instead of a Y, really? And this is just talking about the food of Bam Bam noodles. Yeah, I'm gonna go whip myself up a plate of Bam Bam noodles. That just does not sound like the type of thing you'd want to be eating. go into the potluck at work and be like, hey everybody, I brought Bam Bam noodles. <laughs> well, that could be my last day on the job. <laughs> uh, I'm kick those pumpkins because those books weren't very useful. I had to come up with silly commentary to entertain people while we're reading useless books. Oh, hey Jars. to Therapeutus. Okay, I believe that uh, increases magical mending. So we're going to save that for Serena. I 
And I'm just kind of like, hey, is there something else down there that I can't see from this angle? I don't know. There's not. You, you look important. You didn't tell us anything important at all. Okay, no extra jars here, so we must be fine. Well, let's go in and get this. It's too early. Early. It's too early to uh, end the episode off yet, so we may as well do some cutscenes. Besides, the cutscenes just tend to last like two or three I minutes. You once again to Anguilla, on a area. Anguilla. As I believe you know, it is my privilege. Oh, uh, they just last a couple minutes and then they give us control again. Is the general uh, gist of the cutscenes? Your holiness, correct? Might I ask what you and your people know of my companion? Why everything, of course. We have awaited his coming ever since the day he entered this world, in the castle of Dundrasil. Yeah, you really Waiting do know everything. What do you mean? I mean exactly what I say, nothing more. Tell me, do you recognize the symbol on this banner? Um... I'm sure this we've seen that before. This is yeah. the Age of Heroes. The princes of that nation have come here to train with us for six years of their youth. Your young friend was born a prince of Dundrasil. Thus did we expect him to come here as a boy and study under the great Grand Master Pang. Sadly, that was not to be. Yeah. So if fate had been kinder, you would have spent a good part of your childhood here. Guess so. Of his tutor. This Grand Master Pang you speak of. When the Lord of Shadows brought the World Tree low, the Master set out to summon a magical mandala to protect the temple from destruction. Oh, so that's how the, the temple is safe. But its power was too great. Grand Master Pang did not return. So Grand Master no Pang sacrificed. Uh, himself to uh, gone, protect the it falls temple. To me to guide you. Come to the field of discipline. It lies behind this hall. There is something you must see. It is a shame that the Grand Master cannot be here. I would have liked to meet one so noble. Come, let us see what His Holiness has in store. Hendrik, you and your noble formalities. I guess it's better than bringing Veronica to this place. Uh, before going to where the game wants us to go, let's go where it doesn't want us to go yet. Upstairs. Oh, well, they're gonna let us enter here. Yeah, the Grandmaster's Chamber. We've got some incense burning. We have magic water. Hope you don't mind me just, you know, plundering this place. On the nature of the naughty stick. Use a weapon name that echoes through the ages. Not the wave cutter scimitar or the staff of torn cloud. No, the naughty stick. Really? Punishing young monks for lapses of focus. Very souls spanked out of their bodies. Okay. I guess remind me not to make fun of the naughty stick. <laughs> and this book, uh... This book is not, no, it's not important. We're not even going to remember that by the next video. I'm going to jump on uh, the High Llama's bed. Take that.
All right, uh, we will go this way. Um, well, let's let's get to a real point here. Ah, this looks like a good point to stop. We'll do that next time.